Hi, my name is Sabrina Jeffries. I write historical romances that are set during the Regency period. I have a book coming out called uh, Wed Him Before You Bed Him. It's the culmination of my present series, the School for Heiresses series. It's about uh, the anonymous benefactor to the school and the woman who runs the school. And the two of them are um, had a past, a secret past that nobody knew about during the series. And their past is going to all come out and then uh, the reason for the hero becoming her benefactor is going to come out. It's going to turn out it was not the best of reasons. He was seeking revenge against her for something she did. And so he set it up that way, but as they kept writing letters throughout the series, he sort of lost all his resentment and the urge for revenge went away. So now he's got to figure out how to help her and how to save her school without letting on why he started the masquerade and what what he really intended and he's having a little difficulty with that. Are you particularly attached to this book because it is the final? Oh yeah, yeah. This, this book was probably um, the biggest joy to write of any book I've ever had. So it made it very easy to um, write the book because I sat down, I knew the characters, I knew everything they'd say to each other. I'd been waiting for all this time to write their book. So it's been, it's been just a thrill to write. The bad part was that, of course, it's a secret who Cousin Michael is. So that became a big deal because I had seven months between the time I wrote the book. And of course, I've been keeping the secret a lot longer than that. I knew who it was all along. So I've been keeping the secret for several books. And so finally I finish the book and I'm ready to talk about it and say, ta-da, and I can't say ta-da because the book doesn't come out for seven months. So I am, this week I'm just so happy because at last, you know, I'm already getting fan letters on it. It's like, I love the book and everything. It's like, finally, I can talk about the book at last. Now, what do you think readers of the time period would think of your books? Well, I would hope they liked them, but you know, they would think they have too much sex in them. They would be appalled by the sex. And the way people write now is very different from then. Uh, Jane Austen, for example, because uh, I read a lot of Jane Austen, she has more distance between herself and the characters herself as a narrator. And so she doesn't tell you why she tells you some of the characters' thoughts. She doesn't really get into their heads the way we do. Um, because it was almost like it would be impolite to do that. You know, it would be rude to get people too far into someone's head. You need a certain distance. Well, we don't think that anymore. We want to get as far as in their head as we can. So there's that, and that would feel jarring probably to a, to a reader of that um, period. So if you could ask Jane Austen one thing, what would you ask her? Why she never married. I would love to know that. Uh, I, she, I, I know why, I could probably guess why she turned down the guy who asked, because he didn't, he sounds like a little bit of a schlub, but uh, I really would love to know, you know, why she never married. That would be the one thing.